everyone and welcome to the daily newspaper analysis which is brought to you by Law Seco. So I hope that you're all doing very great, fit and fine. So before moving further, here is a huge announcement that I would like to bring forth all of you. So this 26th of November that we all know is the Constitution Day or we also call it as the Law Day. We are celebrating it through this quiz competition. The theme of this quiz competition is the Constitution Day. So basically, we all know that the questions based on the Constitution of India would be asked. The highlight of this entire event is that you can win prizes worth rupees 18,000. So the first uh, person, the winner, will ha will get a cash prize of 10,000 mm -hmm. rupees, followed with 5,000 and 3,000 for the first and second runner-up. Also, the top 50 scorers will get coupons that will be discount coupons on various Law Seco courses. So I hope that you are all excited about this and you all will take part in it. This is absolutely free of cost pa of participation. The timing will be 10 a.m. 26 November 2022. To register for this, the link it will be there in the description box below of this newspaper analysis itself. So please make sure that you're registering and that you're all there. Let's hope that we are going to celebrate this with an awesome day and we will get to learn a lot about the Constitution of India. So make sure that you are participating in this and that you are sharing it as much as possible with all your friends who you think would be interested in this. On this note, let's get started with today's news updates. So today we'll be having some news updates and legal news for the day. Firstly, for news updates, we have first is the Network Readiness Index 2022. So the US-based nonprofit Portulans Institute released its Network Ready Res Readiness Index 2022 study. And India moved up six spots to claim the 61st place. So that actually gives a very good hint when we are almost ready to enter into the 5G era as well. So according to the report, the nation's total score increased from 49.74 in 2021 to 51.19 in 2022. Secondly, highest installed grid interactive renewable power capacity. So as per the handbook of statistics released by the Reserve Bank of India, Karnataka stands first among the states which, with a total capacity of 15,463 megawatts. Tamil Nadu comes a close second with 15,225 megawatts, while Gujarat comes at the third position. Thirdly, India's Manika Batra wins a bronze medal in the Asian Cup. So Indian table tennis player Manika Batra defeated world number six Hina Hayata of Japan in the Asian Cup 2022 women's singles bronze medal match in Bangkok, Thailand. It was India's third medal in the continental meet. Chetan Babur, with silver in 1997 and bronze in 2000, was the only Indian table tennis player to win a medal at the Asian Cup before this. Fourthly, Kashi Tamil Sangamam in Varanasi. So the Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi, inaugurated Kashi Tamil Sangamam, a month-long program belief organized in Varanasi, Uttar Pradesh. The objective of the program is to celebrate, reaffirm and rediscover the age-old links between Tamil Nadu and Kashi. More than 2,500 delegates from Tamil Nadu will be visiting this place. And lastly, Khalid Javed's the, pra the Paradise of Food wins 2022 JCB Prize for Literature. So Khalid Javed's The Paradise of Food has been awarded the JCB Prize for Literature in 2022. The book was chosen by a panel of five judges and The Paradise of Food has been translated into English from Urdu by Baran Farooqi and published uh, by The Juggernaut. Let's see what do we have for legal updates today. Firstly, presumption under Section 139 of the Negotiable Instrument Act includes a presumption that there exists a legally enforceable debt or liability, says the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court reiterated that the presumption under Section 139 of the Negotiable Instruments Act includes a presumption that there exists a legally enforceable debt or liability. This was held in the case of Jain P. Jose versus Santosh. Secondly, Family Court can restore application under Section 125 of the Criminal Procedure Code after its dismissal for default, says the Odisha High Court. So the Odisha High Court uh, has held that the family courts possess the inherent power to restore a Section 125 CRPC application dismissed earlier for non-prosecution. This was held in the case of Sachindra Kumar Samal versus Madhusmita uh, Samal, uh, Akka, Swain and another. 
Thirdly, Supreme Court dismisses PIL seeking creation of Indian Environment Services as part of AII India Services. We also covered this previously as well. So the Supreme Court dismissed a PIL seeking mandamus for the creation of a separate Indian Environment Services as a part of the AII India Services on the lines of Indian Administrative Services and IPS as well. This was held in the case of Samar Vijay Singh versus Union of India. This was all for today. Thank you so much for staying tuned with Law Seco. Do not forget to also register for the Constitution Day quiz. It is going to be a great day. I'm assuring you all of that. And uh, thank you so much for staying tuned with Law Seco. If you wish to download the PDF of today's slides, you can join our Telegram channel. The link is there in the description box below. And you, you can also scan this QR code that you can see on your screens right now. Thank you so much.